Hey, welcome to my curls, guys. Today's a big day. I am so excited because I'm headed to the beach tomorrow. It is fall break here. All the schools are out for fall break. My daughter is a senior. It's her last year of school and she threatened me with my life if I didn't take her to the beach. So that's where we're going. We're all super excited. We're leaving out tomorrow morning. And so today is um, Friday when I'm recording this and I don't have to be at the ice cream shop until five o'clock. So I get to actually be a normal person and go out and do things during the day today. And y'all, I live in Western Kentucky. It was 90 degrees here yesterday. Woke up this morning, it is 72 degrees. We have had a huge temperature change overnight. Like fall is officially here and it is so beautiful outside. I'm in the car because I'm taking you with me to get my eyebrows threaded. I have done a lot of talking about my eyebrows and I just recently, or like last year, discovered threading. I have never done anything to my eyebrows. I've never waxed them. I have only plucked like a couple of little hairs. Normally I would just kind of comb them and trim them with some little scissors, but I've never done anything official to my eyebrows. And my daughter went and got her eyebrows threaded last year. And when she came home, she looked fantastic. I went the next day and got my eyebrows threaded threaded, and I have been hooked ever since. So I only do it about every three months, but I'm going today. And so I wanted to take you with me and show you the before and after and what a huge difference it makes. And I'm recording this in the car because the light is good and I wanted you to just get a good look at my brows. So it's been three months since I've had my eyebrows done. I feel like they're like overgrown. They give me a faded, shadowy, undefined look to my face. And so you are gonna see such a huge difference when I get them threaded and show them to you. And normally my eyebrows are red and a little bit irritated for about 10 or 15, 20 minutes, something like that. So by the time I get home, um, all that will be gone and I'm gonna show you the after after photos of what it looks like. But right now I'm waiting in the parking lot of my favorite Mexican restaurant. I'm meeting Randy for lunch and then I'm going to do my eyebrows. I have to run to Ulta and get some shampoo and conditioner and Brecken needs some uh, concealer. And then I'm going to go get the oil changed in my car because we're driving to the beach. We're going to Panama City. It's about a nine hour drive from where we live here in Kentucky and we're driving my car. My car is seven years old got 150,000 miles on it. I love it. I will drive it until it dies. But this car has been on so many trips and we are packing up and heading out early in the morning. So taking my car. So I got to go take care of her. So I will see you all at the eyebrow threading place. I'm at the eyebrow threading place. So I'm going to give you one last look up close. You can see my eyebrows and I'll be back in five minutes because they are super quick. I'm back. No kidding. I was in and out of that place in under five minutes. And so here is the difference. Can you see the difference in how just kind of muted and shadowy my eyebrows looked and now how defined they are and I don't have any powder on them I've done nothing to them I just had them shaped and threaded that's all I'm not gonna lie it hurts <laughs> my daughter swears it doesn't hurt her I think it hurts and today was like the fourth time, I think the fourth time I've had it done. It was much better today than the other times. Maybe I'm just getting used to it or I know what to expect or maybe my, my eyebrows are getting a little bit toughened up from having this done. But today was definitely better. But it, I swear, like when they do each eye, it takes less than I'm guessing 30 seconds. It happens so fast. And when they pull off the eyebrows, you know, all the little pieces of hair kind of fall all over your face. 
and they give you a tissue to um, get the hairs off your face and so it kind of gives me a little bit of the heebie-jeebies but when I went in I had my video going because I wanted to show you all the place and I was gonna ask them if I could video having my eyebrows done but I got the stink eye when I came in with my camera and so I decided that probably wasn't the best idea to ask because y'all, like I don't even know how I could hold it up and video it being done because I have my eyes closed and you have to put a finger on your eye like this to kind of pull your eyebrow um, tight, I guess, so they can do what they need. So it didn't happen, I couldn't video it, but here's the after. It does kind of sting and burn for about 10 minutes maybe, but here's what it looked like huge improvement Ooh, I have little hairs on my face but I am gonna go get the oil changed in my car and by the time I get home the stinging and burning will be totally gone if there is any redness at all it will be gone and then I'll show you the after after so you can see the beautiful effects and then I'm gonna put some eye makeup on and a little bit of lipstick and I gotta go to work tonight but I'm headed to the beach that's all I can think about headed to the beach so see ya in a bit. To be honest, I don't really know what they do when they thread your eyebrows, and I don't think I wanna know. I know enough, I know that it hurts, I know that they use thread, and they're ripping rows of eyebrows out by the root, I know that, um, but I don't actually have a technical explanation of what goes on when they thread your eyebrows so I guess you could probably find a YouTube video somewhere on that but I'm not the expert so I can't really tell you what they're doing I just know it works well I forgot to record the video when I got home I was super rushed when I got home because it took longer than expected to get my oil changed and then I decided to rotate the tires on my car when I was heading home, the only thing I could think about was getting my toenails painted once I got home and my fingernails painted because I'm headed to the beach and you can't go to the beach without your nails painted. It's like critical that you have your nails painted at the beach. So that was what I had on my mind and I completely forgot to record the video to show you all what I look like once I got my eye makeup on. But here it is. I think I look so much better now that my brows are done. Something cool to note, I was in and out of there getting my brows done in under five minutes and it only cost me $8. That is a perk of living in a small town. That is why I love it here. If you like this video guys, give it a thumbs up. I would love for you to subscribe to my channel. This is where I talk about my gray hair, my curly hair, my life, the things that I love, and I would love to talk about it with you. Anyway, I gotta run. I've gotta get to work. I have to roll some ice cream tonight. I have to get home, finish packing, and we're heading to the beach in the morning. So until next time, I will see you at the beach.